Hey everyone, I'm Angela. In today's video, I've chosen seven of my favorite wig reviewers and seven gray wig finds. If you're new here on this channel, I talk about silver gray white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair. So let's go see who my seven favorite wig reviewers are and the seven gray wig finds right here, right now on Silver Linings. From the very beginning, my goal for this channel has been to save you time in your search for your best silver gray white wig hairpiece or topper. And so that's why I decided to collect seven of my favorite wig reviewers. Now a lot of these wig reviewers you may already know about, but if you're new to the world of wig wearing, you may not know this resource, and so I do hope that this video helps you. Along with the seven reviewers, I've also chosen seven gray wigs. So in the lineup today, I have for you Godiva Secret Wigs. I have Taz, whom I'm sure most of you know about. Patty from Patty's Pearls, one of the first reviewers I've, I ever watched. Coco, my new friend who specializes in Paula Young and Godiva Secret Wigs. Denise Sheets, Marlene's Wig and Chat, Crazy Wig Lady. Now remember that all of these wig reviewers are reviewing wigs from the silver gray and white wig family. They're all wigs. There are no toppers or hair pieces in this video today. So first, so first up, up, we have we Godiva have. Secret Wigs, and I love this particular video because she's going to go through several different uh, wig reviews. I think there are four wig reviews in this one video and they're all in the silver gray family. And I love this particular wig that she has on right here. They're all glamorous styles just like the wig says. And I will drop the links below to each one of these reviewers that I mentioned today. Well, I don't think that this wig reviewer needs any introduction. Most of us know Taz and Taz does not review just gray wigs. She's done quite a few of the silver gray wigs, but this particular one, she is doing a beautiful job. It's a bob, and again, I will link Taz below. My goal, again, is just to show you the different wig reviewers, especially if you are new, so that you don't have to do all that searching on your own. This is an absolutely beautiful piece that Taz is reviewing here, and I will drop it for you below. Now, Patty from Patty's Pearls is one of the very first wig reviewers that I watched, and I included this particular video, again linked below, because she teaches how to look for gray wigs. This is where I got a lot of my initial education from. It's evergreen content, and it's never going to change, and you really will learn a lot about colors mm -hmm and understanding what makes up a particular wig. Now I will also show you another wig that Patty is reviewing in, the, in her next video. And here Patty is showing London by Envy in the beautiful gray color. Again, I will link it below. And she hasn't really styled it. She's just plopped it on her head here. She's so funny. But this is a really beautiful medium length wig. Envy makes some gorgeous, gorgeous um, wigs. And if you if you go back to this video and watch it from the beginning to the end, you'll see how she works with this particular wig um, and just makes it her own. Beautiful color, lots of education by Patty, and again, she doesn't just review silver gray white wigs. She reviews every single color, but London is a wig that I have looked at more than one time. <laughs> She's so funny. And then here we have my new friend Coco, and Coco specializes in Paula Young wigs and also Godiva Secret wigs, and look at all the gray wigs that she's gathered together, her little audience back there. This is a wonderful uh, video to watch. She's going to give you lots and lots of information. She's a delight. She's funny. You'll, you'll get some chuckles. And uh, as I said, she does sell 
unlike myself, she does sell Godiva secret wigs. Again, I don't sell any wigs per se. I review wigs, and from time to time I'll have an affiliate link, which of course helps me out with the cost of my channel. But I think you'll love Coco. And uh, Coco and I are, are talking about a collaboration together, um, so that should be fun. Look for that coming in the future. And then we have the beautiful Denise Sheets. Denise has a very special channel. She, as you can see, living my faith and loving my sisters. Beautiful face. And she's wearing here Narika Alva in Silverstone. I had this, I actually owned this wig and I put her in my wig store. And this is a really great review. Alva was a very popular wig, still is a very popular wig. I know you'll enjoy Denise. Denise's channel. Again, she does not do just silver, gray, white. She does every color, um, every color wig, but she does quite a few of silver gray. So don't miss Denise's channel. And then we have uh, Marlene, and Marlene shows a lot of silver, gray, white wigs. She wears them beautifully. So you don't want to miss Marlene. Add her to your rotation. Beautiful Marlene. Again, I will link it below. And then we have Crazy Wig Lady and Eileen. And you can see here she's wearing the beautiful Iced Granita color, which I love, 5161. And um, Eileen reviews all different colors, all different uh, styles. She's with Wig Studio One. She reviews on a weekly basis. And uh, she does a great job. Beautiful little pixie here. So, as I said, I will link Eileen below. So those are seven of my favorite wig reviewers. They are my go-tos that I usually will visit at least once every two weeks. And I know that that will save you some time. I'm going to make a playlist of all seven of those people so you can just go right through the playlist. You won't have to hunt and search for them. I will link, I will link each of their channels below and also included in my playlist. Okay, so in this and upcoming videos, I'm going to choose a couple of questions from viewers and just answer them right here for you. So that will add to your knowledge base. And someone, let's see, I think it was Christine Sola had asked, let me share my screen with you. Christine asked, can you please tell us what the wig or topper is in your background on the stand at the beginning of your video? Now, my last video, you might remember if you saw it, it had, um, it had a split screen. So the, I'm thinking that the one that she was talking about is Angelica by Noriko. And then the other short one in the split screen, that was my, the video just before this one, is Kristen by Jean Renault, two of my absolute favorite wigs. I usually will always have a wig on the stand or on the table behind me. The one that's on the stand right now, I'm sure I'm going to get a question, is Ensley. Ensley is by Renee of Paris and she is in the color Moonstone. I reviewed her, oh my goodness, a few months ago, but if you just type in the search box at my channel, just type in Ensley and she should, Ensley Renee of Paris, and she should pop right up for you. And then the other question that I had um, from, let's see who that was, from Carol B. Angela, maybe I missed it, but exactly what brand, what brand topper and color is this one? She's referring to the topper that I reviewed in in this video. So this topper is from Raquel Welch, 16 inches in the color 5660. So again, that was the review that I did last week on that topper. That video had so many views, I hardly could believe it right out of the gate. As I've said before, something's going on in the topper world because all of a sudden, uh, toppers seem to have been getting an awful lot of play and again it could be just because they're cooler it could just be that they're a little bit less expensive but I do love this topper and and I wear it a lot especially because you can pull it back okay 
I'd always like to let people know I do have wigs for sale over at my website. You just, if you end up on a different page on my website, you can always just look right up here, shop, and shop will take you right to this page. It's pretty much always accurate, always updated. Um, and you can read all about how, how to purchase one of my gently used wigs there. I did want to let you know, and I almost forgot to tell you, that um, if you're looking, if you're wondering what's on my head here, it's this messy bun. It was only $9.99 at Amazon, and I just love it. Let me do a spin for you. I have no idea what it looks in the back. I just kind of threw it on, but uh, you can get the idea. And I actually had two of these. I've got two or three of these messy buns, but the other ones that I purchased... I purchased a couple of years ago and they have way too much gray and so my my hair is pretty much mostly white now you could see that closely up front I just gathered my hair in a bun and then I put this bun around my own bun so love this thing I've worn it quite a few times since I purchased it and uh, I'll link it below for you well, we're coming near to the end of this video, but before I close it out, I want, since we're in the middle of hurricane season and the one that's um, right now uh, moving across Florida, I thought that I would share this uh, paragraph from the Des Moines Register in the aftermath of uh, Harvey and Irma. I just love this. Clearly the floods in Texas and Florida are devastating and one can't help but have heartfelt sympathy for how those people's lives have upended. If there's any silver lining in the story of floods, it's the revelation that the values of generosity, kindness, and compassion are still living in our country. People are trying to help others despite their sex, race, age, religion, or ethnicity. Humans are caring for one another. I just love that. I think that that is absolutely beautiful and a good way to express what's really going on down in Florida and many other areas in the country and the world that suffer these kinds of devastating situations. So that is a great perspective. I also wanted to let you know that uh, with this video and going forward, I have decided to upload now on Saturday. And on Saturday, between 3 and 4 o'clock, I will be online um, so that if your comment pops in, I will be able to answer it immediately. Because I know sometimes we make comments and then we forget and we, we really had a sincere question, but we kind of lose track of where we've been on where we've been online. So my my new video will go live at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time and I will be online um, between three and four o'clock. Again, Eastern Standard Time. And that starts with this video this coming week. So I do have a question for you. You could answer it in the comments below. What is your favorite? A wig, a topper, or a hairpiece? And question number two. Do you prefer long wigs, medium wigs, a bob, or a short wig? And the short wig would include a pixie. And again, if you'd like to answer that question, just put it in the comments section below. If you have any other question for me, put it in the comments below. And as I said, I will be answering those questions on Saturday between 3 and 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Who knows? I might even go live. <laughs> Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you had a wonderful week. I hope that if you're in Florida, that you're recovering and that you're safe and that everyone you love is safe. See you next time. Bye-bye.